So we have problem number one, dy over dx plus y is equal to x y raised to 4. So we need to, so this is a nonlinear. So we need to convert this to linear, linear form of differential equation. So we need this, so we need to convert it to, to this one. So, we multiply y raised to negative 4 to the equations. So that this will be, we multiply y raised to negative 4 to the whole equation. So that this will be deleted. So dy over dx plus y is equal to x raised, x y raised to 4 quantity y raised to negative 4. So this will be this will be deleted. This will be deleted. So if you multiply y raised to 1 plus y raised to negative 4. So law of law of exponent with the same base. So, the equation will be y raised to negative 4 dy over dx plus y raised to negative 3 is equal to x. So, so this is already, so we have function of x, so this is already done. So, so, as I discussed in the introduction, so in Bernoulli we use the C substitution. So what is Z? Z is this, this one. Remember this? So Z is this one, this y raised to negative 3 or y raised to negative n. So so z is equal to y raised to negative 3 only so no no numerical coefficient so only y raised to negative n no numerical so if z is equal to y raised to negative 3 derivative of z is equal to negative 3 y raised to negative 4 dy negative 4 dy so as you can see we have y raised to negative 4 dy so bring down so multiply this equation by negative 1 third negative 1 third so that this will be deleted so the equation will be dz over negative 3 is equal to y raised to negative 4 dy. So, we already have this one. So, this is y raised to negative 4 dy. So, we have y raised to negative 4 dy is equal to dz. So, the equation will be dz over negative 3 dx plus z is equal to x. So, as you can see in our linear form of differential equation, we have dy over dx, so multiply the whole equation by negative 3, so this will be cancelled. So, dz over dx is equal to negative 3z is equal to negative 3x. So, we already now in the, <laughs> we already now in linear form. So... The next step is, so we already finished in step 1. Step 2 is compute for integrating factor. So, e raised to p function of x dx is equal to, so e raised to p function of x is, just remove this z. So, this is negative 3, p function of x. So, so the equation will be a raised to 
integral of negative 3 dx. So, constant, we will put it outside. So, negative 3. The integral of dx is x. So, the, the integrating factor will be a raised to negative 3x. So, remember this. So, we are already in step 2. So, the solution will be instead of y, we use z. So, z is equal to so, this is step 3. Step Instead of y, we use z. Instead of y, we use z. z is equal to e raised to integral of p function of x dx is equal to integral of q function of x e raised to integral of p function of x dx plus c. So, z is equal to z is equal to y raised to negative 3. So, y raised to negative 3. So, the integrating factor is e raised to negative 3x is equal to integral of so q function of x so integral of ne negative 3 x e raised to negative 3 x dx plus c so constant we will put this outside so let's focus this let's focus on the right side first so constant put it outside is equal to negative 3 integral of x e raised to negative 3 x dx plus c so we have two different category two different category we have algebra and exponent so this is integration by parts so i already discussed integration by parts so we use the lie 8 lie 8 so we have algebra and exponent so we have algebra. So, the first one is the like 8. So, we have algebra and exponent. So, the first the first will be u and the second will be integral of dv. So, if u so u is equal to x u is equal to x dv uh, so du is equal to dx Then integral of dB, integral of dB will be e raised to negative 3x dx. So this is e raised to negative 3x dx. So this is e raised to u du. E raised to u du. So du is negative 3 dx. Negative 3 dx we have so we put negative 3. We have only negative uh, we have we only have dx so we put negative 3 dx. If we put negative 3, we put a neutralizing neutralizing factor outside the integral. So negative one third integral of so we have now e raised to u du. So, e raised to u du is equal to e raised to u. So, lo, basic integration. So, the, the v, v will be negative 1 third e raised to negative 3x. So, from by parts, u v minus integral of v du. So, we have negative 3. So this is by parts we have negative 3 so we will we will multiply negative 3 to the to the resulting equation of the by parts so we will multiply negative 3 so u is x u is x and v is negative 1 third e raised to negative 3x so so the resulting equation will be x quantity negative 1 third e raised to negative 3x minus so integral of v so v negative 1 third e raised to negative 3x and du is dx 
bracket so multiply negative 3 because of this so if we multiply negative 3 to the whole equation so this will become negative 3 over 3 so this is 1 positive 1 So, the rest of the equation will be x e raised to negative 3x. So, multiply this negative 3 to this. This will become positive 3. Integral of b du is integral of negative 1 third e raised to negative 3x dx. So, the rest of the equation will be x e raised to negative 3x so constant we put it outside so this will become negative 3 over 3 integral of e raised to negative 3x so this will be negative 3 over We will put the constant outside. So we have e raised to u du. So this is the same. This is the same. From the by parts. So, this is the same. So, the result of this is negative 1 third e raised to negative 3x. So, the result of the equation will be x e raised to negative 3x minus 3 over 3. So, e raised to du will be e raised to du. We have dx only. So, we, we add negative 3. If we add negative 3, we need a neutralizing factor outside of negative 1 thirds. So, and this will be negative. So, the resulting equation will be x e raised to negative 3x. So, negative times negative 1 third. e raised to negative 3x plus c. So this will become positive 3. Negative times negative 1 third is equal to positive 1 third. Then y e. So we are already finished in the left side. So remember the left side is y raised to negative 3 e raised to negative 3x so this one so so the, the next solution will be y raised to negative 3 e raised to negative 3x is equal to x e raised to negative 3x plus one third a raised to negative three x plus c. So we can we can simplify. We can delete the a raised to negative three x by multiplying a raised to three x. So if we multiply a raised to three x, this will be deleted. This will be deleted. This will be deleted. So we multiply. This will be e raised to 3x plus. So, this is the final answer.